and traditional CAD tools like SOLIDWORKS. You are probably used to working in one mode when working on parts, working in a completely separate mode when you're working with assemblies, and, in fact, working with completely separate part and assembly files in each of these modes. The Integrated Concept to Fabrication Toolset in Fusion 360 is a new paradigm in 3D CAD CAM that gives you freedom and flexibility that you won't find in CAD tools of the past. In other words, in Fusion 360, you don't have to worry about any particular mode, such as part mode or assembly mode. Any and all of the tools you need are available at any time, because Fusion 360 has five different workspaces that are unified into one design package. Model, Patch, Render, Animation, and Cam. Not to mention the Sculpt, Sketch, and Drawing sub-environments. All you have to do is open the workspace with the commands you need. Let's begin with looking at the Model workspace. Along with all the solid modeling tools at your disposal, you also have access to organic freeform modeling tools as well as sketch tools to help you create geometry. If I go ahead and mirror the body of this linkage here, and click OK. If I expand the bodies in the browser, you can see both sides listed here. It never hurts to rename bodies in the browser to make them easier for you to identify later. Now, as I mentioned, if you know your design is going to have multiple bodies and or components, it is a completely expected workflow to design everything you need, all within this integrated tool set. If I go ahead and extrude this sketch profile I created ahead of time, Notice as I drag the arrow. The Join option is enabled by default in the dialog, and if I drag the arrow over an existing body, it switches to the Cut option automatically. If I expand that menu, notice there are a couple of options for New Body and New Component. This is powerful because I can use the original sketch at any time during my design process and derive as many bodies as I need, without needing to switch back and forth between different environments. All my geometry could be derived from a single sketch if I wanted to. I'll come back to components in a second, and for now I'll use the new body option, and for the extents, I'll go ahead and select the face of this other linkage. Before I click OK, keep an eye on the body section in the browser. When I click it, you can see the new body appear. I'll go ahead and rename this body as well. So, of course I have built in some powerful design intent to this design and have tight relationships in the geometry I've created so far. But at the moment, these bodies are rigid and cannot move to show the motion behavior that they would as an assembly. Now, I skipped over the new component option a moment ago intentionally so that I can show you how at any time you can right-click on a body and make it into a component. When I do, you can see a new component listed here in the browser, as well as a new item in the parametric timeline. Another subtle change is that the icon changed at the top level of the design, indicating that this is now an assembly. Notice the Bodies section in the top level design now shows only the two linkage bodies, and if I expand the new component, you can see it has its own origin and reference planes, as well as the body. Doing this also made this component movable and flexible. So I can now add a joint. To simulate the motion behavior it will have, And of course, I can continue designing additional features, bodies, and components all in the context of surrounding geometry in the design, without having to worry about any complex external references or separate file structures. The integrated toolset enables you to fluidly go between geometry creation and editing, and building an assembly structure and motion behaviors as you go. One of the nice benefits of this is that when I apply a fillet, I can actually apply it to any and all bodies and multiple components here in the design.
If I go ahead and click Save, all of the sketches, features, bodies, and components will save to the cloud here as a single design. The integrated concept to fabrication toolset in Fusion 360 is flexible and powerful for doing core modeling like I've shown you. And up to this point, all of the part and assembly design I've shown you was done using this model workspace. But what takes it to the next level is that Fusion 360 includes all of these other workspaces without ever leaving the design. For instance, if I click the Create Form icon, you can see the model icon has now switched to show that I am now in the Sculpt environment, and the toolbar changes to reveal tools used for freeform geometry creation and manipulation. If I hover over the Sculpt icon, I can see the other workspaces available. If I switch to the Patch workspace, you have access to an array of surfacing tools. If I switch to the Render workspace, you can create photorealistic renderings using the tools and settings provided here. But also notice the images below in the rendering gallery which were already rendered on the cloud in A360 each time you saved the design. If I switch to the Animation workspace, here you can set up timeline-based animations for presentations or visualization. And finally, in the CAM workspace, here you can set up toolpath strategies for your parts to get machined. Let me go ahead and switch over to another design I have open here. And when I switch to the CAM workspace, you can see this design has toolpath set up, where I can create, visualize, and simulate the toolpath. In Fusion 360, the integrated concept to fabrication includes powerful modeling and assembly tools and without ever having to activate different plugins, let alone separate programs, you have powerful surfacing, rapid ray tracing rendering, animation, and even cam right here at your fingertips. And of course, as your design evolves and changes over time, any work you have done in setting up, say, a photo rendering or a toolpath for cam is completely connected and associative with your designs.